Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I am just getting started doing, hello. <laughs> that was further down to sit than I thought. Um, I'm just getting started doing some filming, some main channel stuff. I have quite the mess in front of me here. I am doing two different things. One thing is a branded video. Another one is a video where I'm going over things that I wanna re-wear this fall. So I thought it might be fun to like show some pieces that I've worn for years or at least last year and that I plan on wearing again. So anyway, it is like 8.46 in the morning. It's like a little early to start filming, but um, I have a lot to do today, so I just wanna get started. We actually, today's like my first day back from being on vacation after Labor Day weekend. Drew and I actually ended up going to LA for the weekend, didn't vlog it, didn't even like hardly take pictures. We had so much fun. We just saw a couple of friends and thoroughly enjoyed ourselves and then flew home and we've just been recovering ever since. I am currently experiencing the period from hell. If you know, you know, I have really, really bad periods and I know Know a lot of you guys do too so I just kind of want to normalize that because yeah it's not been good you can see it in my face I have not slept very well it's been horrible but anyways um, I'm actually filming a little branded segment for a video like I mentioned with Etsy today which is like the craziest thing ever I'm like what I freaking love Etsy and I'm so so excited so that video will be up on my main channel soon the video itself is already filmed I just have to film like the actual branded portion of it and yeah that's pretty much it we're caught up just had some coffee with Drew we had a little coffee morning date we are getting the backyard a little bit cleaned up this morning because we have friends coming over this weekend and yeah I think this might just be a little bit of like a boring cozy home vlog that's kind of what I'm feeling at the moment because I'm on like day four of cramps it's been pretty bad so come along for the exciting ride aren't you excited I know I am no I'm kidding but um yeah good morning just wanted to start this vlog and we will catch up in a little bit okay here's my little setup got the camera ready to go I'm gonna pull up the brief just to make sure I don't miss any like talking points coupon codes etc I have all of my items laid out in front of me here with all of the shop names on them they're so cute I can't wait for you guys to see this we do have my pile of trash over there which we're not gonna talk about and then we also have all of this stuff that I'm gonna talk about in the next video so uh I got my work cut out for me <laughs> let's do it hello it is now the next day yesterday was not a good day I did manage to get my work done, but I was truly like laid out all day long. I was in so, so, so much pain. That was the worst period I've had in like a couple of years. And if you're new around here and you haven't been around, I don't know, the reason I feel like it's important to talk about it is just because it's so normal. I got diagnosed with PCOS, I believe at like the beginning of this year, but I've been struggling for, I mean, as long as, pretty much as long as I can remember. My periods are just excruciatingly painful. And the last couple weirdly that I had were like, manageable and it was very strange and I kept telling Drew like I don't know it feels feels like something bad's coming and then sure enough it was so I know some people are um not fans of like talking about menstrual stuff on the internet and I mean it is really vulnerable but it is just also something that I want to keep talking about to normalize it and you know the fact that I have opened up on this channel about like going to the OBGYN's office and them telling me like it's your fault you need to lose weight you know all this different kind of stuff and documenting when I'm having horrible cramps or when I need to like literally not do anything this week it was three days of me being like it was debilitating like I couldn't do anything and it's just like I can't believe that we have to deal with this as women and I was this close to crying yesterday and I was telling Drew like I don't even want a uterus anymore like I don't I don't care like someone else take it out I genuinely don't want it um but yeah anyways strange tone to start this vlog with but just something that I feel like I would appreciate more people talking about so hopefully if you're in the same boat as me and you feel like everyone around you just has these like light easy periods and it's no big deal and you are feeling insane you're not alone you're not alone and it's hell and yet we persist every single month so anyway I just took a little break from my computer work that I've been doing because I wanted to fake tan because we have a lot going on this weekend. We have friends coming over tomorrow for D&D night, which is our second like official D&D night. So that'll be really fun. The air conditioning is so loud. I am so sorry. I'm just getting ready to head back into the office where I did all my filming yesterday. I somehow managed to finish filming and that's 
the only mess that's left. I'm very proud of myself. I tried on like 80 things for a video and um, now I need to clean it up. Sometimes I will let this stuff sit here for ages and I just simply can't do that. It's not good for my mental well-being. I also need to clean out this little closet area because I have a bunch of stuff in there. So we're just gonna keep on keeping on. But um, for people with uteruses out there, if you are like pushing through and trying to, you know, manage life with awful periods and pain and all of the things that come along with that, I am just sending a lot of love to you because it's horrible and I can't even imagine those of you who have kids, oh my god. Okay, anyways, let's um set you down. We'll do a little cleaning up and then maybe make a little snack or a drink or something. <laughs> My biggest secret right here this closet it was organized when we moved in but then things started happening i did a closet clean out i did a major home decor brand deal which was amazing but i'm not ready to decorate just yet so i'm actually going to bring all of this stuff um, by the time this vlog goes up you will have seen that i did a partnership with ross which was so exciting for um like halloween home decor I'm gonna put this stuff downstairs because I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. I'm thinking like a couple more weeks before we decorate for fall and Halloween. So that frees up a lot of room. And then, okay, yikes. I feel like almost everything in here is like remotely organized, but I do have some stuff down here that needs to either be sold or donated. So I'm wondering if I should get like a bag from downstairs to put all this stuff in. And then that way I can just have it all in one spot and I can go through it. It's really not that much stuff, but some of it I need to resell and then some of it I just need to donate. Oh, I also have another thing for another brand deal. Got a couple things that I'm waiting on still to be delivered. So I will put those up here somewhere. I'm just kind of getting my life together, basically. Let me at least like fold this stuff. How do I have cat and dog hair on me? <laughs> Our cat and dog have been gone, both of them, for almost a year. Oh my god. That could explain so much of why I have just been, well, I mean, besides being hormonal, but it's been almost a year since Moo now, too. <sighs> that makes me really sad. I miss them so much. We miss them and we talk about them every single day. They are both the best things that ever happened to me. If you are a newer subscriber, um, Moo was Drew's cat that then became my cat. And he was, I think, almost 16 years old when he passed. And we miss him so much. Yeah, it's hard to talk about, but our senior dog and our senior cat both passed within like, I think it was six weeks to the day of each other. And it was just a lot. <sighs> I'm gonna try not to make this a depressing video, but it is very sad. It's very possible that I might be able to fit everything in this tote bag. No, it's too small. We'll get one downstairs. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I ordered a pair of Havianas on ThreadUp, but they are like three sizes too small. I don't know if I just like... Yeah, it literally says US 9 slash 10, but I'm a 9. And look at that. I am so devastated because Javianas were my everything in high school. I think I thrifted a pair from like Plato's Closet or something and I wore those things into the ground. And I've seen a lot of cute Javianas recently and so I thrifted a pair and they like must have shrunk or something. So those are going back. Anyway, I'm jumping all over <laughs> from topics, but if you have a pet, just give them so much love from me. Give them lots of pets and scratches and kisses because I would do anything to do that today. Also, not even joking, the second I just turned off the camera, our friend just texted us and was like, hey, is it okay if I, s I found a picture in my phone of Layla, is it okay if I send it to you? And sent this picture of my baby. Oh my God, look at her big butt. <laughs> I miss her so much. This was at the window in our old apartment that we had in LA, this most recent one. And she loved watching the people walk by and sometimes barking at them, but mostly just like saying hello and people would walk by and be like, oh my God. And like, obviously couldn't show that when I lived there because I didn't want to show like our street and where we lived, but oh, what a sweet picture. I'm so grateful for our friends like that who have pictures of my sweet little girl. Like, are you joking? 
she's just like, what? What do you want? Ugh, I miss her. And obviously, in case you want to know what Moo looks like, I mean, he was the most perfect prince that ever lived. There's my baby Moo. Ugh. Okay. Gotta go cry now. Bye! All right, I am quite happy with how things are looking now. I do need to order some sort of like basket or something like that for these to all sit in. I hate this more than anything. This is the bane of my existence. It will make me so angry. So if I get some sort of like basket that can sit flush with the wall and then just like everything can go in there, same with this side, so I can like fix that whole situation, that will make me a lot happier. Here is what the closet is looking like, nice and clean. I put all the donate stuff in a bag that's gonna go to like a local drop off. And then these two pairs of boots I'm selling as well as some stuff up in that basket, which is another problem for another day. <laughs> and like this could be organized a little bit better, but honestly not bad. So, okay, feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> All right, it is the next day. It's Saturday morning now. Well, it's actually Saturday afternoon. It's like one o'clock. Um, we've had a very, very slow morning and I feel a lot better. I feel like as this vlog has progressed, I feel like my hormones are neutralizing, you know? Things, things are definitely looking up. So for this plan for today, our friends are coming over in like two-ish hours to play D&D tonight, which will be really, really fun. And we were thinking maybe we might make a couple fun little recipes. Drew actually has two D&D cookbooks. Um, that we like browsed a couple things from. So we may end up getting some stuff for that. I also have a bunch of these thrifted frames that I took out of the closet yesterday when I was cleaning that out. And I printed some photos of us and like our travels and stuff that I wanna put in there. I mean, we might not get to that today, but definitely in this vlog. And then also this bag of clothes that I showed yesterday that I cleaned out. Um, the stuff that's gonna get donated, I'm gonna take, there's this little like donation center that's local. So I'm gonna go there. And yeah, we're just gonna run a couple little errands. So grocery store for sure, picking up the photos, dropping those off, and then we'll see what else. I wish I could say that it's a beautiful Saturday. It is like 113 degrees. It is extremely hot. Check on your Arizona friends, okay? We are not well. I completely understand that it's like you make a choice to live here, totally get that. Um, but it's like, we will be complaining about it, you know? It's gonna be like this until almost November. It's okay, I'm just watching everyone else enjoy their autumnal, cozy vibes, and we're still in the thick of summer, honestly. Here is today's very casual outfit of the day. I have on, actually both this tube top and these shorts are from Old Navy, very comfy, and then my Doc Martin sandals that I am still breaking in. The Voss ones, I didn't have to break in. These ones are taking a little bit, but that's okay. And then I just have my little Etsy charm necklace on and my gold hoops. Could you even see that? Sorry, that was a bad, that was a bad angle. All right, let's head out on our Saturday festivity. First stop is Walgreens. We gotta get our money shots. Secure the bag. All right, you wanna see the pictures I chose? I want to see. I randomly picked them. Okay, so we have a few. Okay, okay. Lots of different sizes. Whoa, so many. First one? Oh, is it the cottage? No, that's in the first place we went to, um, still on the wall. Mm -hmm. This is the red leaf thing. Our old, oh. Near our old street in LA. Love it. Gotta love it. Oh, I like it. I didn't show this one. Show and tell. This Cute. one. Cute, love it. This is us in the Cotswolds with our matching shoes. Noelle took this. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a really good picture. It's us in Tokyo. Their focus is like the cherry blossom, but then there's us behind it. We're we didn't even know she took it. That is an actual candid. Oh, the pub. Yeah, the, our, the, our favorite pub that apparently is not even that crazy of a pub. Pretty basic pub. But it was truly one of our favorite date nights ever. Oh, that's my favorite photo. photo. Yeah. I want to say this is like one of my favorite photos of us as well. This was us on our first full day in Tokyo. We had so much fun. Yeah, you're on. Obviously. The best ramen I've ever had in my entire life. So delicious. It is worth the hype. This was us on our anniversary trip. Mm -hmm. That's the park. Mm -hmm. This was a park that we used to go to. Cute. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's a good one. This is like one of my favorite pictures of you. That 
That was like one of your happiest memories. <laughs> Like literally, this is a picture I took of Drew at the Doors of Durin, or what inspired the Doors of Durin in Still on the World, in the Cotswolds. I oh, love yeah. this picture. That's a mm -hmm. It's just us with a sewer grate, <laughs> but I think it's just such a cool photo. It had really colorful. My little buddy. Yeah, and then I got the wallet sized ones for that little tiny one. You. So we got pictures of Layla and Moo for yeah, this tiny little grate. That was the last photos I ever took of them. This. That's our hair. This is our cottage, Lily Cottage, in um, grade two, the best. And then the last two, Cute. two of my favorite pics of us. So again, it was like, there's a theme here, our two favorite places. So, I mean, Buckingham Palace isn't one of our favorite places, but it's a picture of us on a really happy trip. And then another picture of us in Kyoto. Yay. Those are great photos. I did good. Yeah. Thank you. All right, let's get these into frames. Well, first we're going to the grocery store. Go, bro, bro, but bro. this was only like $10 to print all of these, and I feel like... It was 16. Oh, just kidding. It was 16? <laughs> I did not know that. It was only like $3. <laughs> but I feel like people don't do that as much anymore, so <laughs> I, was glad to, <laughs> I was glad to print some photos. It felt very old school. Well, we got lots of frames, so... Yeah. We got our work cut out for us. Drew was just saying that he feels like, and I agree, that like having photos like of either memories or loved ones or whatever feels like like a thing of the past. Like everyone used to have photos of themselves. I growing up, there were photos of my family like all over my house. We used to get photos blown up. That was like a big thing. Good family photos throughout our entire hallway. Oh yeah, your whole hallway was like filled with photo stuff. I remember like giving people framed photos used to be like a, like a classic gift idea, which I'm sure it still is, but it just feels like yeah, less common these days. So that's why we're trying to change it. We got a bunch of frames for free. Drew's mom was gonna donate them. So we just filled them with like temporary stuff in the meantime. And now we're gonna fill up the rest of them and then some other ones that I thrifted. So that's gonna be fun. All right, next up, we're doing the donations. These are going to Phoenix Children's Hospital, which is very nice. Bye-bye. Except don't get rid of my cute new bag. <laughs> They got their freaking pumpkins out on September 7th? That's crazy. Okay, so I think we're gonna make like a little pigs in a blanket situation. So we gotta find some smokies. Should I just get one or two? All right, we made it home. Are you ready to see the most random haul ever? Okay, first of all, got our Whataburger for lunch. These are mediums. These are mediums, okay? These are mediums, you're up. We got ruffles and onion dip for tonight. You mix sour cream with this green onion dip and you dip the ruffles in it. It's incredible. We got some little smokies and some phyllo dough to make little pigs in a blanket. You can make them with crescent rolls too, but the recipe that we were following has the phyllo dough, so we're gonna do that soon. I got a random yogurt, a Chobani Flips cookie dough flavored yogurt, just simply because it looked good. I got some peach yogurts as well, because those are delicious. I got one singular perfect bar, because why not? We got some Yakult for Drew. This is obviously not our groceries for the week. This is just a random shop. We got some waffles. Yeah. We got some tortillas. We got sparkling water because they were out of my caffeine-free Diet Coke, so that's probably a sign from the universe that I should take a break. These are tropical fruit flavored Waterloo. That sounds good. Drew got him some cherry Cokes. We got some, actually I picked out some chocolate covered flips. And we got some green bananas because our bananas turn brown in like two days here. Oh, and then some flowers. These flowers are not as good as Trader Joe's, but they'll do. Okay. I'm gonna go eat our Whataburger now. All right, we ate our lunch. We watched Great British Bake Off Junior and I cried. And now, <laughs> literally out of nowhere, I um, just finished doing our little flower arrangement for the week. It is so cute. And I can't remember if I've shown this, but this we got at an estate sale recently. We still haven't gotten our sixth chair. That needs to happen soon, but got that done. Drew is making the little recipe for the weenies. <laughs> Hogs in bed rolls. This is from the Heroes Feast D&D cookbook. 
you just do this and this. And now I will be preparing the literally easiest dip of all time. So, like I mentioned, you're gonna put an entire pack of sour cream and then you're gonna add the powder to it. And that's quite literally it. Here we go. I actually hate sour cream, but I like this dip. I like it when it's in things, but just not like on its own, you know? Beautiful. Beautiful. Stunning, gorgeous. And there you have it. Deliciousness. My hands are clean. I've washed them. It's fine. He has very clean hands. Don't worry. We just can't find a brush. I thought we had one, but don't. We don't. <laughs> okay, so it's still daytime, but we have our lights going. We have our little candles. We have more lights and more candles over here. We'll turn these sconces on in a little bit. We have the what is this even called? Like the ambiance. It's like a little tavern going. We have our candles over here. Lights on. Obviously later we'll draw the curtains and turn on all like the big lamps and stuff. And it will be a vibe. <laughs> later we had a lovely much needed relaxing weekend or at least a really relaxing sunday like we did nothing it was fantastic we started watching a show on netflix called worst x ever it's like a true crime series and if you are into that kind of thing you need to watch this show it is phenomenal i cannot tell you it just kept getting more and more and more unhinged with every episode we were just like huh like it was wild there's also another series that i think came out before this one called worst roommate ever and we watched like one episode of that and that was crazy too so now we've been like binging that one as well it's insane like i don't know if i've ever seen a more unhinged show anyway wild but yeah it was a nice relaxing weekend i actually did work all day today and now i'm sitting down to do some editing it's about like just before 2 p.m but i realized i never followed up number one to end this vlog and number two to show you the photos that we ended up getting and putting them in the frame so i'll take you upstairs and show you the frames that we put in our bathroom and our bedroom because they look really cute so here we have the little bathroom above the bathtub kind of mini gallery wall we have two of our pictures from la there we have our picture from the cotswolds our picture from osaka our picture from stow on the wall which is a village in the cotswolds and then that's just from target so these are just like a real little random assortment and then i hung up a plant over here it definitely needs more sun so i moved it to this area because a lot of the leaves have fallen off i just think it was in a spot before where there wasn't a ton of sun but it looks kind of creepy but also kind of cool, so we'll see. I may end up like taking that off and just letting it hang this way, but we're, we're gonna give her some sun for now. And then here is the finished gallery wall in the bedroom. So we've got our Tokyo picture here. We replaced that one with the Buckingham Palace one or the London one. We have Kyoto. These are all the same, these are all the same. Oh, and then this one from Tokyo. So much fun. So there is the completed photos on the wall. We'll probably put something in that eventually, but for now, it can stay. And these were all free, which is the best part. So that is pretty much it. 
that's me done for the day. I am going to finish up doing some returns, do some editing, finish editing this vlog, start on a main channel video, do some ordering for videos, things like that. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending your time with me. Thanks for hanging out with me this weekend. If there are any types of like vlog stuff you want to see, please let me know in the comments below. Like if there's any particular things that you really enjoy watching in my vlogs, please let me know. I would love to know like what you guys want to see in addition to like what I want to film because I feel like my life's really boring and I always feel like I need to like for disclaim that I guess but I know a lot of you guys just literally don't care like if I'm hanging out at home or if I'm out and about doing stuff like it doesn't make a difference to you so leave me your thoughts in the comments below I guess but anyway I am gonna head off and finish the rest of this work but I just wanted to say thanks so much for being here and I'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye!